So what I'd like to uh, briefly uh, illustrate here is uh, the notion of um, the gas planets, the big uh, giant supersized planets that are far away and much larger in diameter than the Earth. Uh, the biggest planet, of course, is Jupiter. And it's the planet by which all the others composed of gas are, are weighed against and judged. So the other planets are referred to as the Jovian planets, referring to Jupiter. So Saturn is a Jovian planet because apparently it has no detectable surface. It's this big ball of gas hanging in space. However, uh, this creates a big problem because they're not really gas planets. Uh, the moniker is uh, misleading at best. Of course, they, they've detected uh, primarily hydrogen, for example, on Jupiter. It's a giant ball of hydrogen gas. Now, the problem with this is that it sets up a Ptolemaic kind of Earth-centric mode of thinking to where kids grow up, like me, thinking it's this giant ball of gas in the solar system hanging there. And actually, it's in actuality, it's a liquid. Jupiter's a giant ball of helium liquid. It's not in a gaseous state. So what we have is a cryogenically frozen liquid hydrogen planet. However, this is never discussed. It's never taught and therefore it goes unknown. So people go about their lives thinking, oh, this is how reality is. I learned that Jupiter is a big ball of gas. And so they conduct their lives as if they know all about Jupiter. And they really don't. It isn't a ball of gas. It's liquid. It's at a temperature that the gas doesn't really exist. It can't. Now in the upper atmosphere, there's gas that was detected. However, very soon after you descend into the surface, or rather the interior of the planet, its atmosphere reveals a liquid. So very much like the Earth, whose surface is liquid, for all we know, the entire, the entire, quote, surface of Jupiter is actually liquefied. So it's an ocean. Jupiter is an ocean in the cosmos. And again, if you look at it this way, you can see that the occurrence of a liquid ocean planet is actually quite common because these gas planets are being detected outside of our own solar system with frequency. They're also liquid ocean planets. If you enjoyed hearing things like this and you enjoyed this video, I invite you to visit my blog at the link below the video. There's also an affiliate link there for ILN. Feel free to peruse these links. Have a good day.